My Lord God of the universe, ruler of all that exists on the face of the earth. You who inspired the psalmist with one of the most beautiful prayers that millions of people offer to each other every day in Psalm 91. You wanted to show all the love, protection, and tenderness that you give to all your children, those who trust in you, as well as the power and strength that you use in the shield. Protector, you guard us in every moment. Those of us who trust in you do not fear the darkness at night since we are not alone. The Almighty is always by our side, taking care that nothing happens to us in His arms. We will not have a chance to suffer any calamity, neither in our home, nor our work, nor even in our family. I know that I do not have the right to ask for a perfect life. I am aware that the difficulties presented to me are evidence that I must overcome to succeed over evil. In this way, I can give testimony of the merciful manifestation of the perfect goodness of God. The Lord is always willing to take care of us even after death. I know that you also have an army that you send to earth to fulfill the duty of taking care of anyone who takes refuge in you. Anyone who seeks refuge in the Lord will know of your magnificence and bear witness to your work. With this psalm, we will be closer to you, my Lord. We can attain eternal life and be worthy of your goodness. With this prayer, all things will be ordered to be well. We should not only open the Bible to Psalm 91, we should pray with great faith, detail each verse to understand each word. This is how we can create a true relationship of trust in God. In all the tragedies of human history, this psalm has been one of the tools to mitigate the pain and suffering of many victims. Wars and pandemics devastate entire cities, but there has always been hope for recovery thanks to Psalm 91. Even the most unbelievers found a point of support in it. When we pray conscientiously, the Lord protects people, families, and entire countries. When we sing Psalm 91, we can feel your power as well as the kindness we receive. That is why we know that there is a relationship between this song and the positive effects. Whoever takes refuge in God and makes Him his home will obtain unconditional protection from the Almighty. Many scholars have shown certainty in this power and affirm that when we forget God, problems always arise. That is why whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. They will be able to live with God's protection, keep His holy word, and obey His teachings. This means that whoever acknowledges God is also acknowledged, and He will solve the problem. He will deliver him from the snare of the hunter and the plague. I pray for additional protection. Nothing will affect me or make me stumble because I will have the protection of your wings. Because of my trust in Psalm 91, I have achieved peace and satisfaction to fight against the evil that constantly challenges me. Pursues I'm not afraid of night terrors or the demons that haunt me. I have no worries that disturb my sleep, and I wake up energized to face any conflict. There will be no plague or death that can affect me because my Lord will protect me from diseases and death. Even if thousands fall to my left and right, I will not fall. I feel the peace of spirit that God is protecting me from danger all around me. The wicked are punished, those who lack mercy and have no fear of God are not humble enough to take refuge in your word. They will not receive asylum or refuge because they do not believe in you. However, those who put their faith in your word and lift up prayers like Psalm 91 will have no trouble at home, at work, or with family, as the angels will guard them every step of the way. They have the power granted by God, as well as the love for us firmly established by Him. Do not let our feet stumble on stones, they will eliminate vipers and defeat lions and dragons.
If I am faithful to your word, you will liberate and defend me because I have honored your name, Lord. I also receive your honor when I feel your call to defend your name. I dedicate my life to honoring and exalting your merit through the salvation of other souls. The Psalms are poems that comfort my heart when I read them, Father. I feel peace and harmony from your verses. Therefore, the inspiration of the psalmist comes from God, so that through prayer, we are moved to praise the Lord with songs and prayers. His words are not only literal, but also contain some magical energy to transform our lives into joy and optimism, but also into the protection we yearn for and need so much in this turbulent world. There are many testimonials I have heard of the power of Psalm 91, Lord. I am always willing to pray and greet you. You give us this secret place that only those who worship you can access. There, I receive the peace and security that I so desperately need in times of tribulation. Even if it is not a physical space, it is an impregnable fortress for any enemy, both physical and spiritual. That's where I can lessen my worries by praying in your refuge. This gives me strength to stand firm and find the lost path. Only when I am protected by the Most High, do I feel like I am in a true home. I feel safe and confident. Dwelling does not only mean living in one place. It also implies an infinite space of time where our lives do not wear out. After that, we will make the transition to eternity with peace in our souls. For this, we have to build that bridge, and we can only achieve that with constant prayer. It is the only way to make this temple our eternal home. When we have the virtue of entering that secret place, we can enjoy the privilege of living under the protection of the Lord. Under His shadow, we will be able to endure the scorching heat that could isolate and kill us of thirst. Knowing this experience, I know it's best to take refuge in your arms, Lord, to pray every day and honor you with my praises. I will not allow doubt to linger in my heart after having known the benefits I receive when I lift my song to the Lord, for the truth shall set us free. Therefore, the word proclaimed by voice or silence will perform miracles and multiply its worth, as it unleashes a greater power than lies seeking to extinguish faith. Only through prayer can we open the doors to the secret place and receive those who honor the Lord. When I proclaim my Lord as my strength, my fortress, and my dwelling place, I speak of the safe place where I will be sure of peace and security. My God, in you I will trust, I will give you my life, and consecrate myself to your service forever. In Psalm 91, the Lord promises to deliver us from temptation and the traps we are exposed to. The Lord promised to deliver us from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence, from the trap of the hunter, shown through envy and provocation, from being victims of enemies and conquered by them. The plague represents those physical and spiritual diseases that can leave the weak easy prey to sin. That is why his wings are responsible for enveloping us, like a mother does with her chicks, trying to protect them from danger, knowing they are vulnerable. Just as a mother responds with ferocity to those who try to harm her offspring, this is his determination to take care of us in all pressing situations, anywhere, and at any time of the day, there you are, my almighty Lord. Furthermore, the Lord intervenes when a rebellious sheep loses its way, for the Lord knows we are flesh and can stray from the path, but also knows we can strengthen ourselves and return to the path of holiness. Since I know that the Lord is my great Father, I do not blame you for your way of disciplining me. For it is your duty, I accept any punishment you put me through, for I know I can straighten up and get back on track at any time. My faith in the Father is such that I believe that everything I suffer means an opportunity where I am learning. I give you my loyalty, and you provide me with the shield of protection. It can be quite dark, but when I pray, 
I am filled with tranquility, for in nocturnal battles, the light prevails, and fear dissipates. I know that many people experience terrifying experiences, but when I surrender myself to prayer, I feel confident that I will not feel that terror. If I believe enough and have faith, darkness will not find me, and I will not succumb to it. Whatever happens, I will always have the love of my Lord, who will comfort me. In the same way, my God will continue to make those arrows directed at me to hurt me certain, even when skilled shooters fire them, they will not reach their target, for the power of my Lord is superior. Psalm 91 affirms my conviction of the implicit security enjoyed by those of us who pray with faith, while at the same time giving us the assurance that the Lord will be our refuge in times of danger, and our Father will take on the traps. I will take care of demons, pestilences, and any enemy my Father. I know that many things will pass around me, but those of us who decide to follow the path of faith can sleep in peace because the Lord will keep us away from any catastrophe. During my life, I have learned that whatever is planted will be harvested, and that is why I have dedicated myself to proclaiming your love. I am always ready to help others, always putting your name first. That is why I am certain that by not straying from the Lord, I will be able to obtain the reward of living with the Lord of hosts. Anyone who strays from your word may succumb, as they have not experienced it, and they will not have assurance of the salvation of their souls because I know that your justice is wise and good. I hope you look upon me, Father, as you always help my neighbor, whatever their circumstance, just as Jesus helped the leper. I feel the duty to conform to the disadvantaged, not because I want a reward, but because it is what your word has taught me. Those who are faithful to you and proclaim your word will receive the promised benefits. Psalm 91 imposes an assertion where all those who lie down will receive the blessing, the goodness of our Lord God. Those who have strayed from your path, when they join the army of God, cling to the infallibility of His words. He is our Father, and as such, He is willing to save us from the clutches of the evil one. That is why we must trust fully in His wisdom. But beyond that, this song gives us the opportunity to know a new dimension, to work collectively in common, to practice the exercise of faith, and to concentrate on the well-being of our fellow human beings. God always has us present, and His promises are always available to us. Evil will not be able to reach us, nor harm our body, nor our home, nor our loved ones. We ask you, Father, to hear our appeals. I have had many difficult moments, but I have always taken refuge in your love. Tragedies have not brought me down, and I have never lost my faith. I only know that they are the tests that the Lord puts in my path to prove my fidelity. The voice that lifts me up every day is my prayers, those songs that bring me peace and hope. I feel that your angels cover me with their wings. They always appear in various forms, sometimes unknown and unimaginable, sometimes as part of our lives. I have learned that your army is full of angels ready to serve you at all times, and they are the ones who take care of your children. All those who defend you and fear you. The enemies embodied in the beast and the dragon represent destruction and will be defeated by the heavenly army. They are already defeated enemies. Prayers and faith that we place in you across different verses of the Bible. There are many of your children defeating beasts, just as we have testimonies of Christians who have also achieved this. Therefore, I can trust that I can overcome them too. It is not impossible for you, O Lord, which is why I entrust my life, my family, and my future into your hands, so that you may bring all my projects to fruition and that I may not lose anything. However, I also ask that you prevent us from falling into doubts that may make us stumble. I am a sheep in your flock and I need you to guide and lead me on the right path, 
just as you protected the people of Israel on their journey to the promised land. Lord, I ask that you prepare the way for me, give me knowledge through your words, put the right prayers in my mouth, and lead me to liberation, the only reward I can receive for my devotion to you. Please grant me the favor of your grace, let me soar up and escape the temptation of the traps that are set up daily, just as I know that when I call upon you, you will answer me and my distress will be relieved. In return, I will praise and glorify you every day of my life. Psalm 91 is beautiful, it puts us in a privileged position where we are given the opportunity to choose the safest dwelling where we find peace, mercy, and your infinite goodness. I am confident that these promises come to me since I placed my trust in your great mercy. Forgive my sins and imperfections, God, you are my great Father, the one I can always rely on. Every time I bow down to pray, I trust that you will bless me with your promise to welcome me into your fortress and protect me from all danger. Amen. Help the channel grow by subscribing so that more people can listen to this powerful prayer.